But the big breaking story that's been coming in this evening, a clash between Indian and Chinese troops that's been reported now in the Yangtze area near Tawang in Arunachal Pradesh. The incident took place on the 9th of December and sources now saying more than 300 PLA soldiers attempted to get into Tawang area where they wanted to uproot an Indian post. The government of India says that the bid was successfully thwarted by Indian sides but there has been reports of injuries on both sides according to an official press release the pla troops contacted the lac in tawang sector it was contested by indian troops in a firm and resolute manner the face-off has led to minor injuries to a few personnel from both sides the army says both sides then immediately disengaged from the area our commander in the area held a flag meeting with his counterpart to discuss the issue is what the army says in certain areas along the line of actual control in the Tawang sector in Arunachal Pradesh, there have been over the years areas of differing perception. Both sides patrol the area up to their claim lines. This has been the trend since 2006. So there is, of course, plenty of concern over exactly the details. Remember, this comes uh, two and a half years after the more violent incident that took place in Galwan in Ladakh. And amidst reports of de-escalation there, this further escalates the political temperature and certainly the military temperature. I'm joined by Shiv Arura, senior executive editor who tracks defense for us. Abhishek Bhalla, our uh, bureau chief, also does so. So I want to ask you two, both, what do you think happened, Shiv? What exactly are the details you're picking up? How did this happen? Uh, Rajdeep, uh, uh, my sources tell me that in the Yangtze sector of Tawang, uh, you know, uh, uh, temperatures have been uh, elevated for quite a few months now. Uh, this is as a result of uh, elevated Chinese activity in terms of bolstering the number of troops at each of those posts, uh, which are kind of few and far between in that particular area. Uh, you know, but there do exist protocols about not increasing the number of troops at either post on each side. But the Indian side has been observing an, a marked increase in the number of posts in the Yangtze sector, uh, sometimes by a factor of two or three. So uh, 300 to 400 more troops than the actual agreed number. Now, this particular incident on the morning of December the 9th happened when one particular patrol from one of those posts that had you know, caused a little bit of a problem between the two sides uh, uh, came towards the Indian side uh, in, in numbers larger than a usual patrol is supposed to uh, uh, you know, uh, venture out uh, on these missions, Rajdeep. And when they were challenged by the Indian side, where uh, uh, you know, thing, uh, things were already a little ill-tempered because they had already been speaking, there had already been uh, you know, a local commander level uh, talk between the two sides about those increasing numbers, and so temperatures were, uh, tempers were already high. And then uh, you know, either a stone was thrown or a, uh, you know, somebody uh, you know, flew off the handle and threw a punch which is not uncommon, you know, when uh, things get heated, uh, when patrols run into each other, and things just sort of deteriorated from there. It became a bit of a brawl. I understand that it lasted about 12 to 13 minutes, no longer than that, Rajdeep. There were three or four different groups of uh, men who were fighting for about 12 to 13 minutes, uh, but then there was a very quick disengagement, as in the old times when patrols have, uh, uh, you know, kind of uh, brawled in this manner. So there was a quick disengagement, Minor injuries, some fractures, some black eyes, bruises on both sides, uh, but local commanders have met just a few hours after that on the same day to try and keep the peace. Abhishek, this incident happened, what, on the 9th of December? We are today on the 12th, so it's been kept uh, under wraps till this evening. Uh, what are your defense sources telling you? Uh, well, on the 9th of December, you know, there was a patrol uh, of about 15 to 20 uh, Chinese soldiers uh, that was intercepted uh, by the Indian side. And uh, as is usual in such uh, face-offs, uh, it started with uh, the usual pushing and shoving, dhakka mukhi, and uh, then there was some stone pelting from the periphery. That's what escalated uh, matters, uh, tempers rose, and uh, things really got, got out of hand. There was additional uh, deployment uh, from both the sides uh, when uh, this uh, pushing and shoving started, and off late, the Chinese had gathered about 300 soldiers in the vicinity which is an extremely high number, it's almost half a battalion. Mm -hmm. And, uh, you know, a battalion consists of about 800 soldiers. So to have 300 amassed at one particular area, uh, there, there was a sense on the Indian side that something is amiss. And that's the reason why they were able to intercept them uh, well in time. But things could have really gotten worse mm -hmm. uh, had there not been a quick disengagement.